Good evening, lowly people who aren't news anchors. I'm Blank Hand Voss. And I'm Stereotype. Our first story tonight, we're the best news anchors you'll ever see. That's right, Stare. Hire us for anything you like. News jobs, birthday parties, even church. We don't care. Just make sure it's news anchor related. Our second story tonight is from Numpty Numskull, who is covering a dangerous incident on the Duplo Mobile area. Numpty Numskull here. A man has fallen in the river in Great Value City. Hey, that's good, Numpty. Not nearly as good as the fact that we're amazing news anchors. Gosh, we're so amazing. We also do bar mitzvahs. Don't forget the king's nearest. Now time for the weather. Sally? Hello, I'm Sally Weathers with The Weather. Here in Great Value City, there will be a severe tornado hitting the area this Wednesday. No one is expected to survive. Wow, can't say I expected that. At least me and Blank are the best news anchors of all time. You got that right, Stare. Oh, and before I forget, funerals are our specialty. We've just been hired for two in one week. Now we're going to go to our next reporter, Virgil McDougall, who has discovered sad news regarding one of Great Value's most beloved products. Good evening, I am Frugal McDougal, the Tackley Dress Reporter. This truly is a sad day for those of us in Great Value City. Walmart has recently discontinued their beloved product. Wow, I totally thought it was butter. Needless to say, many people are downright outraged by this decision. I put, wow, I totally thought it was butter on my toast every breakfast, my sandwich every lunch, and my pizza every dinner. It was the definitive replacement for butter, and now it's gone! Walmart will never be getting my money again until they right this wrong. <laughs> when we reached out to Walmart, they refused to make comment. Fortunately for fans of the product, they can still buy the name brands, I can't believe it's not butter, for a slightly higher price. But of course, things will never truly be the same again. Coming to you live from the old abandoned parking lot near Walmart, this is Frugal McDougal, signing off. Thank you, Frugal. You really highlighted how excellent we are as anchors. But what will happen to my mother croissants now that wow, I totally thought it was butter? It's gone. It's depressing, I must admit. It always went well with my afternoon bowl of very colossal crunch. But one thing's for sure. We also do bowling tournaments. Not to mention croquet competitions. Well, that's all we have for today. Tune in tomorrow for some more Channel 59 news starring the best anchors in the business. You did good, Blank. But just remember, I'm the best anchor ever. Are you kidding me? Maybe you could anchor a ship with all that fat you got there, but I am the best news anchor. Ugh, Blank, this is why we're divorced. Why, if it isn't Frugal McDougal? Good story there, bud. It perfectly complements our role as S-tier news anchors. It's such a shame that wow, I totally thought it was butter is gone, though. I'll miss spreading it on my bangles. <sighs> Who cares about some generic butter substitute? Everybody here cares, Frugal. Why, generic brands are the heart and soul of Great Value City. These products are what the city was founded upon. Ah, I know that, but that's all I ever get to report on. I just want to do other stories. You know why you can't, Frugal. You kept reporting on alien sightings. Management had no choice but to restrict you. They couldn't keep tolerating your fairy tales. But they aren't fairy tales. I have plenty of evidence and some eyewitnesses. The only thing I can't figure out is what they're doing here. The only evidence I have is from this city and a nearby farm. Yo, McStrudel. You yapping on about them aliens again? It's McDougal Numpty, and yes. Yo, McDonald, nobody believes you on this. Ever since you started trying to sell this alien crap, you've made a fool of yourself and the whole station. There's a reason you only report on groceries now. Stop embarrassing yourself. Hey, give me some credit. At least my evidence is carefully researched. You sure about that? Hello guys, this is Frugal McDougal. Welcome to my uh, conspiracy building where I 
uh, talk about aliens again. <laughs> yeah, I know, but I got real evidence this time, guys. I got real evidence this time. Okay, let me show you. Uh, look at this cereal. Who put cereal in these weird plastic containers? That's just weird. You leave them in the box, okay? You leave them in the box, or if you lose the box, you put them in the bag. But you do not, I repeat, you do not put them in this plastic container. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Uh, cinnamon mini donuts. Ew! Mini donuts are gross. They don't taste anything like real donuts. They're terrible. Well, maybe I just think that because I dropped one in the sandbox one time and tried to eat it. So, but, uh, no. These are gross. They make me want to puke, okay? Only aliens can come up with this stuff. And, uh, let's see here. OJ with pulp? OJ and pulp do not belong together. It's for indecisive cowards who can't make up their minds over whether they want to drink their oranges or eat them. My gosh, guys. I promise you, aliens are real, and this is real evidence. Okay. Maybe I have jumped to some conclusions in the past. But it's different now. I have real evidence now. Guys, come on. You gotta believe me. Martians are way more important than lousy butter substitutes! Oh, hi there, McDougal. The usual? Yeah, Marty. Extra whipped cream this time. Extra whipped cream must be serious. I'm tired of the guys at work, Marty. Nobody believes my stories, and I'm stuck reporting groceries. Well, can't blame them too much, McDougal. Generic brands are central to this here city. But still, I get what you mean. You want to be a reporter. Well, I am a reporter. Just not the best one out there. Well, McDougal, that's what I mean. On account of Milkshake being my king's name, I have the obligation of being a lonely milkshake bar owner. Do you really have to, though? Yes. Well, on account of your name being McDougal, you can do whatever you want. There's no such thing as McDougalin, after all. Right. So what you're saying is, you think I can be a great reporter? You bet your Aunt Sandra you can. You just gotta work extra hard at it. Well, I'm not working right now. Yeah, let's do it. Thanks for the pep talk, Marty. Hey, McDougal, you didn't pay for your shake! Put it on my tab! Well, his tab is getting pretty high. Oh, hey, Olivia. Sorry for your loss. Eh, it's alright, Marty. Wow, I totally thought it was butter. It was too good for this world anyway. Give me the usual. Extra Louisiana hot sauce. Alright, you got it. Okay, let's see what I have here. Farmer Bill claimed that some of his corn was abducted in his cornfield. His corn is usually sold to the city's movie theater to make their popcorn. And on the fourth Friday of every month, that theater plays exactly one showing of Ask the Grim Reaper the movie at 8 p.m. The scenes filmed at 8 p.m. in the movie were in the director's backyard in Sperry, Oklahoma. Hmm. That's not too far from here, and today is Friday. Hmm. Are these mere coincidences? Yes, McNumskull. Hey, dude, leave my hat alone. Nelty, how would you even get in here? You left your front door open, McNimwad. I came here to mock you. Leave me alone, Numpty. I believe in this. Well, you also believe in Santa, the Tooth Fairy, and the Queen of England. Actually, I came here to tell you something. Look, McRonald. McDonald. McDougal. Whatever. Look, management's looking to fire you, and I really don't want to see you go. No matter how much I mock you, I do kind of like you. So, just... Be careful. All right, Mick. Whatever. If I take you to where you think the aliens are, will you accept what you find? Yes. All right. Let's get going, McPoodle. McDougal. Good evening, everybody. I am Frugal McDougal, the Tackly Dress Reporter. I am here with Numpty Numskull. I am not part of this. 
sorry. I mean, I am here with absolutely nobody driving this car, and I am going to prove through this recording that aliens are real. We will be heading soon to the backyard of director Donald Garrison, where part of his recent film was shot. This, I believe, is where the aliens will be arriving. I will be back as soon as we get there. Hey guys, back sooner than expected. We just went to Zaxby's for a quick lunch break. And let me tell you, I really like Zaxby's. What do you think, Numpty? It was sensational. Yeah, sensational. That's their Asian salad. Um, I really like their Zax sauce. I just love dipping those fingers in there. And, and yeah, their sauces are good, too. I like sweet and spicy, hot honey and mustard. What's your favorite? Uh, probably the Zax sauce, but honey mustard's pretty good as well. Yeah, honey mustard. Um, I also really like their wings. Only losers like wings. What? Winners like wings, Numpty. Hey man, like your movie, can we film in your backyard? No. Mr. Garrison totally said yes, but we're gonna keep quiet to avoid waking up the, uh, grasshoppers. I knew I should have gone to law school. It's now four o'clock. I believe when it's eight o'clock, these aliens will appear, probably in their UFO. But, you know, I want to be early. This is gonna be exciting, folks. Well, I'm gonna call it a night. Tell me when those little leprechauns show up. Uh -huh. Leprechauns. Little green men. I cracked myself up. Hey everybody, it is 8.01 now, and so far no aliens have been spotted, but I am certain that they will be out shortly. Alright, it's 9 o'clock and still no aliens have arrived. But this is not time to lose hope. If the aliens are anything like us, they can be late sometimes. It's 11 now, and the aliens are still not around. But giving up now would be exactly what the aliens are expecting from us. We cannot play their games. Hey, aliens! It's 1 a.m. now! Come out! Do you think aliens have grandmas, too? And at 4 a.m., no less? It is 6. It is 6. The aliens will probably be out at 6. 7. 7. I like seven. Good number. Oh, what? Aliens? Numpty? Now, see how he reacts to the OJ with the pulp. No! Orange juice and pulp don't belong together! Ah! Stop right there, you aliens! What do you desire, Earth Inhabitor? You know what I'm here for. Oh, McDashedly. I'm kinda touched. I'm so glad you've come to save me. I'm so sorry for being so- I'm here to interview you! <sighs> of course. An interrogation? Bring out your most intense inquiries. Okay. But you gotta drop the alien talk. I know you speak just like us humans do. Okay, fine. I just wanted to sound cool. I thought this juice torture on your friend would make me seem mysterious and unsettling. Oh, I was unsettled. OJ with pulp. Pretty freaky. All right, first question. What beef do you guys have with Earth? Your people are to blame for that. We originally hail from the planet Venus. Yep. We were just chilling out and minding our own business. Yep. But then NASA started a top secret mission to come to our planet and rob us of our most valuable treasure. Yep. Okay, second question. What is your most valuable treasure? You live near Great Value City. Don't you have any idea what it could be? Yep. Well, now that you mention it, I always did think marshmallow cream seems like an alien creation. No, not that. Our most valuable treasure is I can't believe it's not butter. Yup! Whoa. Seriously? Yup. You see, we on Venus have butter too, but it is seriously unhealthy. Yup! So, our greatest food scientist created a substitute that tasted just like real butter. We put it on shelves all over Venus under the brand name, I can't believe it's not butter. Third question, what's it made out of anyway? You don't want to know. What? I thought all you said was yep. Yep. Sometimes. Alright. Fourth question. How did NASA find out about I can't believe it's not butter? 
I'm not sure that they did, but when they learned of life on Venus, they quickly launched a secret mission to raid us. Yep. And once they found out about our butter substitute, they kidnapped our people and forced them to make it for them. And without pay, too. I don't understand you guys. You Earth people are so unhealthy. And even though you say you want to get healthier, you only eat fast food and you rely on butter substitutes to counter it. Oh, and yep. Final question. Why did it take you guys so long to come back to Earth? I can't believe it's not butter has been around for years on Earth. We didn't have space travel back then like you humans did, but now that we have, the Venus government sent us to investigate. And investigate we did. We found out that all of our people were killed for being unproductive. And now they've replaced the recipe with straight margarine. How unhealthy, yep. Is it more unhealthy than butter or less? Yep. Well, nope. Uh, maybe? Who knows anymore? What's worse is we're starting to see knockoff brands. What's up with, wow, I totally thought it was butter. Anyway, when we found out about that, we had to go steal it all. So that's why, wow, I totally thought it was butter was discontinued. Well, um, what's your plan now, you know, with your people dead and all? One day NASA will get payback. I've started with this shirt, but soon we will abduct your people and use your resources for our food products. Starting with you! Wait, what do you mean about my resources? You don't want to know. Ah! Hey, let Empty go! Oh no! <sighs> OJ with pulp, uh, so distasteful. What? Numpty? Aliens? Oh no, they've abducted Numpty. What am I gonna do? I know what you're gonna do. You're gonna get out of my backyard right now, or else I believe that you'll be meeting the Grim Reaper very soon. Grim Reaper? I thought your movie was fictional. It's called a documentary, dude. You need to help pay child support. Only if our kids admit that I'm the best news anchor. We don't lie to our kids, Blank. Frugal McDougal? Where have you and Numpty been? We need stories from you two! Without great stories, how are we supposed to be great news anchors? Forget those boring stories! Aliens have created I Can't Believe It's Not Butter, and they abducted Numpty! Is that really the best excuse you can come up with? I think you need to speak to management about your crazy fantasies. No! No, it's all true! I have it recorded right here on my phone! Uh, come on. What? Dang it! They must have deleted it! But my phone's passcode protected! How do they know my passcode was 1235? That's it, you're fired, McDougal. And tell Numpty he's fired too. And with that, my long journey in reporting has come to an end. For now. One day I will find these aliens and save Numpty. Maybe living in Great Value City has been holding me back. They don't care about anything if it isn't about Sam's Cola or Marshmallow Mateys. But at this moment, I need not worry about that. I must start by researching this mysterious butter substitute from Venus. Hmm. Not bad for alien fecal matter. This is Frugal McDougal, signing off. <laughs>